Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, we are going to start with new and choose 3D design. This one is going to be a domino triple launch. Friends, it is going to work like this. We're going to start by making the board a lot larger. I'm going to change it to 400 by 400. You can make whatever number you want. That is just what I'm choosing. Backspace, put that four and click out there to make it permanent. Now, friends, don't forget, I have got my own creation of the domino. If you have not made this shape, I'll show you real quickly how to make it. Once again, it was simply a basic shape. When I brought it out, I simply made its length six. I made the width 16 and I made the height 28 and then I also did a radius of 2 so it has a bit of a rounded look. I made it the white that I wanted for my dominoes and then simply went to your creations and I created that shape. That way I can always use it again and again. So friends, today's project works like this. I'm going to set my nudge to 5. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to nudge two clicks out. So that's 10. There's a third click for 15. Let go and do control D again and again. And it memorizes that all the way out. I'm going to simply end there. Once again, I'm giving you a starter. Now I'm going to do control D. I'm going to move over a few. You can figure out how far you want that to be. I'm going to do control D. I don't want that one, so I'm going to hit delete. Now that I've got that reset, it is control D and it's two clicks forward and it's one click right. And then I'm going to click on the rotation handle and I'm going to put 15 and enter. It went the wrong way. So I'm going to do negative 15 and enter. That's the way I want it to go. And friends, without touching anything else, if I do control D again and again, it rotates around that exact shape. Now I'm going to select all of that and do control D. I'm going to shift nudge to the left and I want to mirror it just like that. Looks like I need to go two more clicks to get it so it's all the same. And then friends, here comes our triple launch. I'm going to make a tray that holds a special pin. Let's go back to basic shapes and this will be my tray. I'm using numbers like 100 and 50 for these distances. I'm going to keep it at the default height. That means it'll hit the top of those. And now I'm going to build a fancy fork. It's super simple because of cruising. I'm just going to set this piece on top. I'm going to pick the thickness here. I'm going to type the number five. I'm going to change this height to three. So it's just a pin. I'm going to click on the black handle and stretch it out. Notice I missed, so I'm going to do control Z. Once again, if you get the black handle, it only goes in one direction. So there's my pin. I'm going to set my nudge back to one so I can get right in the middle. So see how that is going to topple that domino. Now I'm going to do control D, shift nudge to move over, get that so it's pretty close to perfect and do control D again. Notice it memorized the move and those are lined up pretty darn sweet. I'm going to click back on the middle one and do control D. Let's do shift nudge to move it back and rotate it 90 degrees. Now notice if you stay inside the circle or close to the shape, it goes 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you hold down shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time. I want it just like that and I'm going to drag it to the edge. And then I'm going to use that black handle to stretch it across. Notice that lined up just about perfect. If it doesn't quite line up, you can just move the other one or watch this. Shift select, choose a line. And I want to make that one the boss. And now I need a pusher. So we're going to do control D. I'm going to move this back. I'm going to make it wider with the black handle. Let's do that shift select and align. And I want to align it to the middle and to the end. And then I'm going to make this taller so it's easier to push. So we have just made a fork that's going to nudge all of those. Let's hide this part, select those, and let's do group. I'm going to give myself a little more room by grabbing everything and I'm going to shift nudge it forward. 
If we do show all, we can bring back our ramp and move it into place. I'm going to stretch this out and I'm going to make the contraption that makes this work. So let's bring out a ramp. Because of cruising, we can set it on top. I'm going to hold down shift rotate to spin it. I'm going to stretch it a little higher and a little further back. Let's quickly line those three up by doing a line and choose in middle. And then I want a projectile. Once again, with cruising, I can just bring it out right out on the area where I want it. How cool is that? And friends, we are ready to test our project. I think I want this to be a little taller. Notice how easy that is to stretch. And let's send it to the motion simulator. Now we need to click on each object and make it static so that one will not move. And I need to make this one so it will not move. I'm going to make this ball steel. I'm going to leave this one plastic, but I want to change the color. And I'm going to make this box ice so that way it slides better. Let's back up just a little bit. And at this point, friends, it is time to hit play and check out our sweet triple domino. How cool was that? Now, friends, you can pause, you can back up, you can rewatch. It is so fun to fiddle with. Friends, that is so darn fun. And you can see just how fast and how simple the ideas were. Now, remember, too, if you've ever got something you think is awesome, you can go up here on Share, and you can record a video about your project. Simply pick the format that you want. I'm going to stay with 16.9. And when you hit Create Video, after a little bit of time, it'll save. Mine already has the name. Mine also asks where I want to save it. I'm going to choose my downloads and hit save. And now you've got something you can share with all your friends. Friends, of course, you can cancel this out. Friends, I do also want to remind you there are wicked cool share links. You can generate that link, copy that link, and you can ship it to somebody so they can try out your awesome project as well. The final thing I want to remind you is that if you click up here, your design saves automatically, and then you can really simply share it with the world simply give it a cool name like this will be a triple launch tutorial this tutorial will be added here in a minute don't forget you can easily reach out via youtube or my website add some cool tags remember if you do put the tag hlmt23 i check that just about every day to see what cool stuff was shared i'm going to delete it from my project though and then finally make it public and I always choose no derivatives because once again, I want you to follow the tutorial to gain some epic skills. Finally, hit save changes and wait for the world to check out your epic creation. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.